how to day trade with $500 for beginners. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the strategies that has worked for me. Okay, so right over here, right now what you're looking at is actually a free PDF, right? How to day trade for a living using price action that uh, I've created for you. Okay, uh, if you're not already downloaded this, uh, if you're new to our channel, uh, make sure you download a copy of this. Um, this entire PDF is uh, free, okay? And uh, you can actually find it in the description uh, section below. Okay, we give you everything you need to know uh, to get started. So, um, you know, even if you're a new trader, you're a beginner, okay, we cover everything that uh, you need to know, that you can see over here, okay? So, in today's video, I just want to spend some time uh, just going through uh, the price action strategy. Uh, in this case, it's the MPE strategy that we use, okay? I just want to go through uh, this section over here. You know, maybe give you uh, additional tips, uh, give you additional insights about uh, the process that we use. Uh, of course, uh, these PDFs are so jam-packed with a lot of value, like uh, this uh, candlestick pattern cheat sheet, which is uh, phenomenal. Okay, you can find content here which uh, you won't find at any other places, right? Because it's a very nice summary. Okay, uh, we talk about the forex market secrets as well. Okay, we talk about uh, supply and resistance, which is also crucial. Okay, uh, in our previous videos, uh, we talk about supply and resistance, so we will not cover it here. Okay, uh, as I said, uh, this copy is uh, available for you to download for free. Uh, just click the link in the description. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the MPE strategy, okay, today. Uh, one of the issues with a lot of uh, new traders is that uh, they come into trading without, uh, you know, without a plan, okay? And because, uh, you know, when it comes to trading, there is no, uh, no one's going to enforce a plan on, on you, right? No one's going to say that you need to be disciplined, you need to structure your trading routine, you need to have a systematic plan, right? And because of that, uh, what happens is that a lot of traders uh, trade in a very haphazard manner. So, you know, maybe day one, they are trading using strategy A and by day two, they are on strategy five, right? And this is the reason why they are not consistent, right? Because if you approach the market in a like inconsistent way, then of course your results are going to be inconsistent, right? This is pretty straightforward. So what you want to be doing is to choose the process that works for you, right? You understand the psychology uh, behind uh you know, like your own psychology, what kind of person you are, commit to a single strategy, master the strategy, and execute it every day uh, without emotions, okay? So if you are new to our channel, uh, you will notice that uh, nowadays uh, we are recording our videos more often, and that's so very good for us because it helps us to be more consistent, right? Just like uh, we approach trading in a consistent manner, Right, we also want to approach our YouTube channel, uh, you know, in a very consistent manner. We do it every day, right? So this is actually building the habit of consistency, which ultimately helps us to be a more consistent trader. Anyway, I digress. Okay, uh, now let's talk about MPE. Okay, uh, earlier we talked about uh, support and resistance, market structure, and candlestick patterns, right? In this uh, PDF, uh, we won't talk about it here, but uh, let's go straight into the MPE. Okay, so uh, MP actually stands for the market condition, the price level entry, and the last uh, E stands for entry trigger. Okay, now the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at uh, the market condition. Okay, before you do anything, the first thing that you always want to ask yourself is, right, um, is the market in the uptrend, downtrend, or ranging? Okay, this is very important, right, because only when you identify the market condition, then can you tell, uh, you know, what should you be doing, okay? Uh, so let's say in the case, uh, if the market is in uptrend, then you only want to be buying. You don't want to be selling because any sell will be a counter trend trade and the counter trend trade has low probability and it has a low payout, right? And meaning it has low risk to reward. So it's not a good plan, okay? Conversely, if the market is in a downtrend, right, you will only want to be selling, okay, you don't want to buy, even if you see a buy opportunity, you probably would not take it, right, it's not wise to take it, because uh, as I said, you're going against the trend, and you're probably, you know, you, you won't get very good uh, risk to reward, 
okay the highest risk to reward trade is when you trade with the trend and you have a very tight stop loss okay last condition is actually uh if the market is in a range right then uh you can choose to buy and sell okay but this is a bit more tricky because what happens is sometimes price can you know be an uptrend and then start consolidating in a range so in that case uh it's not that you can't sell at the top of the range you can but uh if you're new uh, my advice would be uh if you identify there's an uptrend and it started ranging then just look to buy okay if it's a downtrend and started ranging just look to sell okay if you are new because if you are going to try to buy and sell every single range right and you don't identify the prior trend before the range right uh you know it was it uptrend first before it started ranging then that's where you could really get hurt okay uh let me just uh clarify a bit what do i mean by uptrend and downtrend okay uh, i believe i cover it here so um okay sorry uh i don't cover it here but uh basically let me just use this chart as an example okay basically a a trend is very simple okay it has four points okay if you you must remember that there are four points first you have a high okay we talk about downtrend first you have a high you have a low okay low over here you have a lower high and then you have a lower low okay so this is the definition of a trend okay in this case a downtrend okay if you go uh, over here let me see if i can find uptrend okay Okay, you have for uptrend you have the opposite okay you have a low you have a high you have a low high and you are higher high okay as long as uh, this structure is valid you know it carries on in this pattern then uh we would say that the market is in the uptrend uh of course uh you can get more complex uh you know be more technical and say that a uh, different time frames will have different trends okay one thing to note is that um uh, each time frame can have its own trend so sometimes it's good to look at uh, multiple time frames and align the time the uh the trend together okay but uh because this guide is only for beginners okay uh, i will explain to you uh, how you should approach it if you are a beginner if you are new to trading uh, i will share with you what is the best way to get started okay not to worry i'll get into that later so now let's talk about a uh, price level okay now market structure on its own is not enough okay uh you, you, you kind of know okay um you, you want to buy right because a price is in uptrend but you still need to get in at the right level okay the reason is because uh even if you get a direction right but you get the level wrong okay you might still lose money okay very simple it's because you need to have a stop loss a stop loss is when you get out if you are wrong okay now that's very important okay because in trading there's no such thing as 100 percent. so you need to make sure that you always have a stop loss and that is why you need to get the price level correct because normally you put your stop loss you know uh just below the price uh support or the resistance that you identified so you need to have a so-called a form of reference to uh put your stop loss there so if you get the price level wrong but the direction correct it's still possible to make uh to lose money so you must get the market condition correct and you must get the price level correct okay um how to identify horizontal and dynamic support resistance level i won't go in into it uh it's actually pretty simple and um if you look over here uh, i have uh, laid out everything for you okay over here what nobody tells you about support and resistance and so how do you draw support and resistance on charts okay it's all covered there okay uh, not going to cover that now uh, let's go on to uh, part three okay part three is the entry okay so we identified the market condition let's say you want to buy okay after you want to buy you found a price level the next thing you need is you need to know when okay you need so-called a confirmation right you want to see um so-called uh if you want to buy you want to see strength uh at the level at the support level if you want to 
you want to sell, you want to see uh, strength at the resistance level. Okay, so what do I mean by strength? Okay, you want to look for specific uh, candlestick patterns. Uh, okay, we have hammer, we have shooting star, we have bearish and graphing, we have uh, bullish and graphing. Okay, so uh, over here on top, we actually have uh, our cheat sheet. Okay, right, uh, there are if you're new to trading, uh, there are actually, you know, a thousand and one candlestick patterns. But the beauty of this cheat sheet here that we have prepared for you, right, it's, uh, it summarizes everything, okay? You just ask yourself, what is the range of the candle relative to the previous candlestick? Ask yourself one question and you can easily identify, uh, you can easily identify whether uh, is this a good candlestick pattern. Okay, I won't go into details about this because uh, the, the guide here is pretty comprehensive already. Okay, but uh, in essence, uh, we're looking at these four patterns. Okay, and uh, all these four patterns, you're just looking at the close, uh, the range of the candle relative to the previous candle. Okay, I'll give you more examples over here uh, in case you are not too sure, but uh, it's all over there. Okay, so uh, yeah, so we are looking at uh, for uh, candlestick pattern, okay? So now let's go into uh, the uh, case study of, uh, you know, how this works, okay? So step one, we identify market structure, okay? Or otherwise known as market condition, okay? These are interchangeable. Market structure slash market conditions actually interchangeable. So you can see over here, earlier I said, you have a high, you have a low, you have a lower high and you have a lower low. So Price is in uh, a downtrend, okay? So step one, done, simple. Step two, identify price level, which uh, you want to take reference from, you, you want to sell, right? So you want to identify resistance in this case, okay? So you can see over here that uh, price was supported here, uh, retested, 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 uh, broken above, retested, uh, we tested support, so this is a very good level. And when price broke, it just retraced nicely. Okay, so that is the price level. Okay, just a clarification. Uh, it's not really a price level. It's kind of like a zone. Okay, uh, if you have not watched our previous video about uh, identifying a support and resistance level, okay, uh, I talk about how um support and resistance level are zones, right? There is never a specific level. Okay, it's always a zone. So you want to see it as zone. So in this case, uh, you ask me which is the exact uh, resistance level. I can't give you answer. All I can tell you is that this is the zone. Okay. Okay. Now last step would be a look for entry real reversal price action. Okay. Let me just zoom in. Okay. You can see over here this candle is actually a doji, and then after that you kind of have a pierce. They call it a piercing, or I mean, however you call it, right? This candle here has a follow through, it's bearish after uh, this doji over here. Okay, if you take this shot and you put the stop loss above uh, and you hold it, this would have been a very nice trade. Okay, your take profit would have been uh, probably the recent low over here. Okay, of course, uh, it also depends on how you manage your trade, right? There are, uh, you know, a thousand one ways to manage your trade. Okay, but uh, in this case, we're just trying to show you how to enter. Okay, so the next uh, example will be pound cap. Okay, pound cap, identify market structure. Uh, this is a low, high, lower high. Sorry, low, sorry. Low, high, higher low, higher high. Okay, so you're in an uptrend. So if you're in an uptrend, what do you want to do? You want to buy at support. Okay, look at this. Okay, this, left, this zone over here, this, was actually a uh, support. Support broken, retested as resistance, go down, bounce back up as resistance, sell down. When it comes back up, it acts as resistance here again before it sell down. Come over here, resistance again, sell down, broke up, now it comes back down to here. Right, retest the support again. So pretty straightforward, okay? So the last step is to look for entry, okay? So over here, this uh, chart is very clear. Uh, let me just zoom in more. It's very clear. You have a uh, bullish and graphing here. 
we have another bullish engulfing. So if you miss the first entry, you would still have an entry here. Even then, if you miss this entry, uh, you still have a doji here and then after that, a confirmation of uh, the doji pattern over here. Right, so this was a pretty obvious trade. And mind you, this is a day chart, okay? So even if you know you are busy, you have a day job, you know, you're working hard, you're hustling, uh, you have a lot of time to uh, take a look at the charts, right? You can uh, just wake up every morning when the, you know, the previous day candle has closed, you can just enter. Or in the night before you sleep, you make a decision, right? So there's really, uh, this, this strategy is actually designed to, uh, to be simple, okay? It's designed to be simple. So one more thing uh, I talked about uh, earlier on, I talked about how, uh, what you should do as a beginner if you are new, right? Uh, let me see if I wrote it here. Let me see. Okay, uh, I don't actually have it written here, but okay, uh, just a disclaimer, okay? This actually works on uh, any time frame, okay? But uh, let me see, I'm still trying to find it, sorry. Okay, I don't have it here, but this, uh, this strategy has the highest probability when you trade using a day chart. Okay, day chart, right, day chart. Not saying that it doesn't work on a H4, okay? But remember, the lower down the time frame you go, you know, from daily to H4 to H1 to M15, uh, you're going to get more noise, right? And you're also going to run into what I call the, uh, the session crossover problem, right? What's the session crossover problem? The session crossover problem happens when... Um, you enter a trade just before a new session. So for example, uh, you enter a trade during uh, before Eurozone. So you know, during Asia, uh, prices uh, shows you a bullish engulfing pattern. And then after that, uh, you know, during uh, Europe, prices reverses, right? So this happens a lot, right? Because you are entering just before a new session, especially a big session like the US session or the Euro session, which are, uh, has more traders, has more volume than the Asia session, right? So this was a lesson that uh, cost me a lot of money, right? When I analyzed my own results, then I found out that, uh, you know, the most profitable trades is uh, for me personally is the, the US session where there's trading volume, there's trading a liquidity where, uh, you know, the market really moves, right? So if you are new, right? Notice we always say daily, right? You, all these are all daily charts. Okay, we recommend you to start from the daily uh, charts. Don't go into, you know, H1, H4, M15, M5, you know, M1. Okay, it's going to be very difficult for you. Okay, and remember, uh, if you're scalping, the more you trade, the more you're going to pay in commissions. So it's not a smart way. Okay, and I think most of you are, you know, uh, you have a small account. You know, probably you start off with a $500 account as uh, we recommended. Right, you, you don't have a lot of uh, you don't have a lot of capital, right? So you don't want to uh, you know you don't want to take too many trades uh, in a day, right? In fact, uh, as you take more trades, uh, decision fatigue comes in, okay? Decision fatigue comes in, and what happens is you start making uh, you know bad decisions. So if you just stick to this uh, MP strategy and just probably take you know one trade a day, you know maybe couple of three trades a week, you know, things like this, you're gonna make better decisions, okay? Compared to, you know, a lot of traders, you know what, they take 30 trades a day, right? The only one who's really making the money is the broker because you are paying commission after commission for, you know, every trade that you take, okay? So I think that's it for this video. Now, before I wrap up, uh, make sure you download a copy of this, okay? Uh, if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, okay? Uh, one more thing is that uh, we do have a complete Forex course or so. Uh, we do have our Telegram signals or so. Okay, we have a free channel and we have the uh, premium channel, okay? Uh, if you open an account using our referral link, uh, I'll put a link in the description below, we'll give you a complete Forex course that teaches you everything you need to know.
right? We cover the absolute basics, right? How do you read a currency pair? What is a PIP, right? Because uh, our course is meant to be comprehensive, okay? So all this is free. We do not charge, right? All you need to do is just open an account using the link uh, provided below. Okay, you should see in the description. Open, right, an account. Fund in a minimum of $500. We'll give you access to our course, which has, uh, you know, a a very nice PDF like this, a very comprehensive PDF, uh, and comes uh, accompanied with uh, videos about, uh, you know, the PDF, right? Uh, each section, it help explain to you, you have uh, me sharing with you uh, our thought process, right? Uh, how we approach the market, right? And we also give you access to all our signals, right? For free, okay? We do not charge you. So if you're keen to get that, uh, just check it out at the bot, you know, at the description. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, as always, comment down below, right? Uh, we'd love to address your questions, right? Till then, we'll see you in the next video.